The choices that medieval authors made as they created this body of work affect the ways in which our own language and literature developed. In making the Medieval English Manuscript the largest collection of medieval English manuscripts in private hands. There are three copies of Geoffrey Chaucer's Canterbury Tales. Geoffrey Chaucer, uh, considered the father of English literature. We have a wealth of religious manuscripts, including five gorgeous prayer scrolls. What I like about this one over here is that it has all the instruments of Christ's passion, oh. but instead of arranging them in a, in a square like you normally have, they leave it with Jesus on the cross. So you can see the nails, you can see the spear that's sort of off to the side, yeah. they've got the cup into which his blood is flowing down at the bottom, and then the two thieves in the background. Mm -hmm. And that really makes it very interesting for me. Well, I'm very excited because we're standing in front of what is probably the most famous manuscript in the Takamiya collection, which is the Devonshire Chaucer. It is so fine that it is, has been thought to have been made for the mother of the king, Lady Margaret Beaufort. If you look at this material and you think about the people whose lives it touched and who created it, you can see the ways that this material is still reflected in our own culture today. Beinecke exhibitions are free and open to the public. Uh, we're open seven days a week. We invite you to see this exhibition.